All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, sports are very important in our world, in our country, in this state particularly, and in this city. Uh, we have had na uh, uh, statewide football champions. We, our baseball team just won another statewide baseball ch uh, championship. But some of the other sports go a little bit unnoticed because they're a little bit different. And we have a group of folks on today who are members of an archery team from Tullahoma, and here they are, and they have, uh, we're sitting in here with national folks, statewide and national champions from the Tullahoma, Tennessee area. And, and a lot of this is because of Tracy Taylor here from Taylor's Archery, Josh Harris and his, his dream. I can remember when Josh was a kid uh, going out and setting stuff up and shoot. And, and he's the coach of this team. Tracy, tell us a little bit about the team and how it was founded and, and what, 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 who, who, who we represent and how these kids uh, have grown so. Oh, it's, uh, the name of the team is Taylor's Archery Scholastic 3D Archery Team. It's a national organization and we're just, you know, just a small cog oh, in that wheel. Right, right. But uh, Josh Harris is the coach. Uh, he's been doing it for several years, great coach. Uh, we've got, I think, our indoor team this year, we had about 48 kids to start with. Wow. This is just a, yeah, this is just a small number of them. And uh, we just go out there and do what we do. Go ahead. Well, you know, I can remember, here's some, here's some uh, footage at the high school. Now, what was this? This was the indoor. Tennessee Regional Qualifier. You have to shoot X amount of qualifiers to compete in the state championship. And so, so just how many people came to Tullahoma to participate in this event? I'm thinking there was maybe around 200 kids at this at this event. 200 kids. I'm not counting that, parents. I mean, yeah, and, but I mean, and that means parents, maybe yeah. grandparents, or maybe aunts, uncles. I know I have a, a young cousin that is uh or my wife's cousin that's that, sh that shoots rifles he's a he's a pretty good rifle, like some of these young kids right. and and shoot man they travel to go see those kids shoot oh yeah and so think of the economic impact that this brings into right. this town right 200 and some odd kids that's 400 parents yeah we were... thousand people coming to town uh this past year we had we had kids shooting upstairs in the high school gym and and downstairs so we've been doing this for how long now? I think this is the second year that Tullahoma was headed to their gym. But I mean, as far as as far as your involvement oh. in archery and a club and and working in this town, doing this, I don't know. You've got you got it, me there. ten years it's, it's or been, more at least. We've I'm been sure. located here in Tullahoma since 2010, and I. Y'all started pretty soon after that. Yeah, I don't really remember when the well, arch probably club started. fifteen years at least. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> so think of all the, the the impact that that's done on this town, and think of all the young children that that have done something to to help them be skill wise, help them learn wise, uh, uh, their body, the physical side of it. Because y'all, well, they're just inside. Now you go in there, and, and what's the tension on that bow? It just ranges on the kids. All right, but there's still that's a lot of tension for a young person to pull back and hold steady to the point that they get that thing sighted in to where they can turn it loose. Now, it's got to have some physical success involved with these young people, their strength and their coordination. Yeah, it's physical. It's highly mental, also. It's a yeah. very mental game. So. Uh, so we, I can remember going out with Jerry and Josh one time. I would buy this has been at least ten years or more, and setting up, setting up deer and and boar and stuff out by Tim's Ford Lake, and the kids they set up a, a walking a hunt for walk and shoot for right, them, right. you know, which I thought, man, how outstanding is that for a kid to be able to? You won't be Robin Hood shooting now. You can go out in the forest and there's animals there that you can shoot and it doesn't even hurt anything. Yeah, that's what we're involved in right now is the outdoor part of it. Is it? Yes. Good. The state championship is coming up next weekend. And then the national championship will be, you know, a week or two after that maybe. 
Now, where was where were some of these? Where was the nationals held? Uh, the indoor nationals were in uh, Owensboro, Kentucky. Well, that's not a bad travel. Right? No, it's not bad. It's a nice town. Got a good facility. And so, so that's uh, how many kids? How many kids mm, made that I trip? I think they had over 900 registered. Wow. Yeah, I just think it's outstanding. See, when I was when I was in high school or at that age, there was nothing. And me neither. There was nothing. You know, football, basketball, track, baseball, that's it. And now you've got this, and I know uh, we also have a pretty good swimming uh, group around in town and all that. So what do we want to do right now? Tell us tell us who we had okay. as, as statewide champions, finishers, qualifiers, or whatever you want to call them, and then national. Oh, we had Raleigh, and all these kids aren't here today, uh, but Raleigh Orr, he was the junior Eagle Penn State champion. Uh, Briley Harris was the junior Eagle Open. These are the small, this is the smallest group of kids, or the youngest group of kids. She was a state and national champion. Uh, Cooper Terrell here, he was junior Eagle Open state and national champion. Kagan. Eagle Pen, that's the next age group is Eagle, state champ. Uh, Evelyn, second place state. Easton, state champion. Uh, Carter, third in the state. Uh, Madison Davis, she's not here, state champion. Hunter Harris, he was state and national champion. Brody Wilson, second place in the state. Ashley Scott, she was state and national champion. Isabella, third place in the state. And Jackson Paris, state champion. In incredible, folks. And, you know, what, what we have here is, is a part of that. And we just want to make everybody aware that how many kids do you have involved? Oh, uh, I don't know how many is on the 3D team off the top of my head, which is 3D is outdoors, but, right. we, had no, all, but just, we had almost and, and, 50. 50. You got 50 and, people involved. You know, it takes all 50 of those people, and everybody says, oh, that's an individual sport. There is, there's really, uh, it's really not, because they focus on helping one another. They are proud of each other, and every one of them, as far as I'm concerned, by attempting to do what you're doing, is a champion, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you, you can win, and it, it's kind of like wrestling. You can win individual awards, but you have to have five kids in a specific class to win a team award. Right. And, you know, it, 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 one it, point may be the difference between getting sure, it and not getting sure, it. Sure, sure. Now, I want to ask, uh, you won't be able to see this, but I want to look over here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, nine parents over there. How many of y'all would put an apple on your head and let your kids shoot at you? Woo! Give one of them. Well, <laughs> well I... Well, does a national championship bring you that kind of confidence? They're getting close, though, aren't they? They're, all they're doing is smiling. You get look up, get a picture of them over there. Shoot right across there and say, "Look, there they are. That's those mamas and daddies. They're proud mamas and daddies right over there. They sitting, they sitting out in the studio, watching these fine young people." Uh, get credit for hard work and standing up and doing what they do. Now what we want to do right now is we're going to start on this side and tell your name and uh, where you where you placed and where you went and who your boyfriend's name is. Uh, I oh, I'll forget that. Don't worry. I don't have one. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, I am Isabella Frame and I placed third in state. I am Evelyn Northcott, and I play second in state and sixth in nationals. I'm Carter Bartlow, and I play third in state. I'm Brody Wilson, and I placed second in state. I'm Cooper Terrell, and I placed first in state. I'm Kagan Master, and I placed first in state. I'm Easton Terrell, and I placed first in state. I'm Jackson Paris, and I placed first in state. Something I wow. didn't something I didn't mention is all the kids at the state champion that won state championship. There was nine of them. 
they also won Shooter of the Year in the state. So it was kind of like now, a double award. Now, what is Shooter of the you, Year? They have to compile points throughout oh, okay. the year. Yeah, so they, 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 yeah. they took both. They took state champion and Shooter of the Year, all nine of them. You know, uh, I just I just want to say how proud I am of all these young folks. And uh, what, uh, let's see, give the microphone to this guy right here. This one? Right here. What made you, uh, let's see, that Mr. Barlow, Barlow right there. What made you start doing this, son? Uh, <clears throat> my dad. <laughs> Your dad? <laughs> he, he was, he started shooting and started trying to hunt. And I got interested in it. And I saw all the kids that w was doing it. So I decided to join. Good for you. Hand it to the young man next to you. What about you? Why'd you do this? Well, I got pretty much the same reason he got. I got in for my pa, because whenever he started shooting, I was about five, and I started to get interested into it. And then I realized they had a team, so, well, I just well join it. Okay. What about that, that young lady on the end right there? Why? Uh, I don't know. It was just one random day. A good looking boy in there. Is that was that what it was? No. No. I actually, I didn't date him until it started. Yeah, so good. There was a boy in there. You want to shoot him? Was, <laughs> no. Yes. It was just a random day, and my dad brought it up. Good. Good. How about that young man right next to you? Oh, my brother. Your brothers? You want to be like your brother? A little bit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Somebody All right. Try. You know, we got, oh, this, this, this one right here, we didn't get her. Get her. She's the one that winks when she does <laughs> Um, My brother had started, and he really liked it. So I tried, and I got his bow, and then I ended up just being into it and wanted to keep going. Hey, I want to ask you a question. Are you better than your brother? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there because we shoot in different ranges, so it really Okay, depends. but you you're not scared to take him on, are you? No, sir. That did. <laughs> Mamas, what more do you want than a girl that's got a bow and arrow who's not afraid of taking on her brother? That's training right there, folks. What about you, sweetheart? Uh, I have always had an in interest in archery, but um, it started more. Like as I got older, yeah. So well, figured out good. there was grow, a team. You're growing and, into it, dear. Yeah, good for you. Figured out there was a team and so All right, let me let me have that back here. Let's let's run her back there. We got time to get these two up here. What got you started, young man? Well, I had a family friend, and she shot for the team, and so they, they kind of brought it up, just pitching the idea, and so I took interest in it and went and checked it out, and it. Here we are. Has, has, do you feel like it's made you uh, stronger? I think so. It's, and physically? I believe so. The archery is 90% mental. I mean, you've got to have the physical game, but it's, it's all mental. You have to be mentally strong to be able to do it. All right. Thank you. And what about that young man over there? Well, my daddy's always shot, and he shot deer. And what mostly brought me into it was the discipline and the confidence. Discipline and confidence. Folks, if everybody in this world could get their kids to understand the importance of discipline and confidence, we'd have a better world today. And I didn't mention this. Jackson now works for me. Well, he's well-spoken, so you made a good choice. Yeah, I did. Tracy, thank you, buddy. Thank you, Look, feel the grip. Man, I'll tell you what, I would hate to have to put up, but I ain't. Uh, <laughs> You know, this, the, this whole group of people, it's amazing what we have in this town that people, you know, a lot of people really don't know how important it is what the folks like Tracy and his business and Jerry Harris and his, and his sons and uh, a whole lot of people who reach out and take these young folks. Discipline, how old are you? I'm 11. 11 years old. And he understands the importance of discipline and confidence. What more do you want a young person to learn? Congratulations to every one of you.